Hey guys, I'm Cole One back with another toy review, and today I've got kind of a comparison thing going on. I'm not exactly sure when these guys, these two figures came out. I will try my best to get the proper names and put them down below in the um, <clears throat> the tagline. I'm pretty sure this one came out first, then this one. So this is they're both Baroness from GI Joe Gojo. Who was the Baroness? She was the Evil, of course, evil femme fatale that worked for Cobra. And, you know, she's very good about the branding. Very good about branding. She was, I want to say, German. She was beautiful. She was intelligent. Very, very dangerous. And absolutely dedicated to causing mayhem. <clears throat> this one on the um, right is a cartoon version. So she does it. So she looks more cartoony, more, you know, slightly exaggerated. And this one on the left is... Is G.I. Joe um, classified series from the Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins movie. And so she does, I don't know who the actress is, but she does have a much more realistic face sculpt. The uh, packaging is interesting. Like, they just absolutely wasted all the plastic on all the cover. And, like, they have the plastic covering around the side. That's a waste of plastic on the back here. There's nothing about the figure, it's just Mr. Snake Eyes looking all awesome. I do like this artwork on the side. That That is some very nice karmic book artwork of the actress. And this is some nice artwork on the front. Will I be saving the box? I might, actually. I, I might, because I think I got one of these beforehand, and she was missing the knives. And, and that I'll get into later on. Uh, this here is the more cartoon-accurate character version. We got a very nice image of Baroness uh, jumping away from explosion, because cool people... Never look at the explosions. You always look away. Uh, we have her in the nice old style bubble packaging. This I got at Walmart for like ten dollars. Her at Ollie's for four. On the back, we've actually got cross cells. We've got um um Jane. I want to say I have one of her. She's all put away right now, actually. And there's two of her. There's the one I got, and there's the one that's on the shelf right now. And I don't know who these guys are. You, you have to pay. This is DLC. This is DLC advertising. So we've got the uh, tech spec card, uh, roll, Cobra Intelligence Officer, Primary Specialty Intelligence, Secondary Specialty Fixed Wing Pilot. Ooh, she can pilot my A-10 Warthog. Birthplace Classified. Graduated from the Student Radicalism into International Sabotage and the Ranks of Cobra. And then everything repeated down here in Spanish. Again, will I be keeping the packaging? I don't know, but let me go ahead and get her out of the packaging. Oh, I've got the girls out of their box. And yeah, I did already have one of the movie Baroness. And the funny thing about this one, let me go ahead and stand her up, is when I got her, she was already on discount. This is at least a year or two ago. And she was ten dollars. I was like, "Hey, you know, cute Baroness for ten bucks. Yeah, sure, I'll take that." When I got home and opened it up, she was missing her submachine gun rifle, and she was missing the knives. Fortunately, they left her glasses in the box. I was like, "Well, at least she's got her glasses." So I uh, had these flintlock-style pistols already in with my other stuff. So I was like, "You know what?" Sure, I'm going to armor up with flintlock pistols, and I think that looks really cool, and like the knives works, but so does flintlock pistols. Let me go ahead and have these ladies share the same stand. Gotta love stands with those peg holes, right? Actually, hold on a second. Put her there, and then I can put her here. I can kind of stand a little awkwardly, but that'll work. Come on. Lean appropriately. A. That kind of looks kind of cool, actually. <laughs> um. <coughs> so... The, uh, I'm pretty sure the movie one came earlier on, so I'll talk about her for a moment. It looks good. It looks like a real person. I'm not familiar with the actress in question. I can go ahead and take the uh, glasses off. 
you can see how they look with and without the glasses. The uh, glasses are their own little clear plastic piece and they painted over it a little bit and how it works is there's these little notches in her hair on either side of her head and uh, so it just kind of fits in there and it's a nice snug fit it, it, it fits really well um in addition to glasses she came with this nice i want to say mp5 i'm probably absolutely wrong but it does come with a removable silencer which is kind of cool and as i showed earlier she came with these i'm on Get out of the slight, get out of the sheath. These nice curved blades that would probably be easily about a foot and a half long if they were scaled up to a full person size. And now I'm having a hard time getting them back in. Get back in, get back in, get back in. There we go. It's got a nice hair sculpt. It's got a nice... I did that on purpose. I, I like the molding, and she's very she's very on brand with the uh, with the Cobra belt buckle. Now uh, I don't know if anybody gay. Okay, so if anybody that doesn't know, Baroness is basically the evil femme fatale of the Cobra group. She's a psychologist. She's a interrogator. She's all around a you know really skilled assassin kind of character. And this here is a much more cartoon accurate. Um, Baroness. She's got nice long swooping hair. She's got, you know, she's very beautiful, but it's kind of like a more exaggerated, you know, beauty. She does have also removable glasses. Unfortunately, they ended up with this really weird gouge slicing in the side of her head. So, like, yeah, it's nice to take her glasses off. And, like, if you want to take pictures of her from this angle, it would look really cool. But, you know. Oh my god, what happened to your face? Can I get these back on, please? See, I'm making fun of her, so now she's going to be difficult. There we go. Of course, the Baroness always had her glasses on, so, like, yeah, leave her glasses on. I like how on the cartoon version, she's got this nice body armor going on. She's got shoulder armors and, like, a body, uh, like, an armored hard plate, chest plate going on. The um, belts are very similar, except for this one has more... Has a couple extra pouches, and she's got the big old Cobra logo on it. She's really working on her branding right there, you know. Of course, I got to point right at her belt buckle, right? Weapon mints. Her, but instead of having um knife holsters, she's got holsters for these nice, bulky, heavy firearms right here. I don't know what kind of gun this is, but that is definitely a semi-automatic with the uh, magazine loading into the handle. This uh, kind of reminds me of the Halo gun almost. And you do need to put them in, the uh, holsters are shaped specifically to put them in in a certain direction. She also comes with this really, really powerful looking sniper rifle here. Like this is, this is really scary. I, you gotta bend in your barrel, that. That is, that is unfortunate and slightly embarrassing. And they both have little pegs. Both her guns have nice pegs on the side of them. And over here... We've got this cool looking sci if I can hold on to it. Sci-fi tricked out uh, machine rifle thing. I don't know what's going on with this, but it looks scary and impressive. Now before we get into uh comparisons, both figures have these ports in their back, so you can store the weapons on there. Unfortunately, on the movie one, the peg ports are a bit long. So what I'm gonna do Let's adjust the camera down here a bit. I got my X-Acto knife here. And I am going to nip the tip. Oh. Pew! You see that over there? And see, now I've notched at least an eighteenth of an inch off, maybe less. An eighteenth of an inch. Is that even a term? Probably not. And I can sneak this up in here. It's not as good, but it's better than it was. It is definitely a much more flush fit. It's, let me go ahead and, and get the uh, machine gun here. Hey, That was a much cleaner cut. So I'll take the sniper rifle off. 
cartoon baroness and we'll see how the machine gun fits oh the machine gun fits so much better because it doesn't have that big old bulky scope up on there so I'm gonna go ahead and straighten her up a little bit and let's go ahead and readjust the camera of course and we'll take the sniper rifle and I'm gonna give it to the uh, this one right here she can have the flintlock pistols or you know what no 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 it won't fit on her very well because where I have the pistols so we're gonna take the mp5 from her we're going to give her the long range weapon and the close range weapons. There we go. And this one doesn't have, what's funny is that she's got a peg port, but her weapon doesn't have any type of peg on it. Come on. Excuse you. That that's impressive right there, isn't it? She's gonna give Michael Jackson a run for his money. They both are in a minute. Okay. Okay. So we got the girls here in the middle. Let's go ahead and bring over Film Noir Spider-Man. We've got Soda Can. We've got Scourge here. We've got Hubcap. So they're a pretty good height. Pretty good height figure. I think Baroness is supposed to be like six foot tall or like, you know, 5'10 or something like that. So let's um, bring back in Scourge in his truck mode and hubcap so you can see how they scale with the vehicle modes. And so like articulation is going to be pretty similar for both of them. I, I really don't see too much of a difference, but we will go through them individually just to find out. So the um, cartoon Baroness or comic book Baroness, she does have a nice double jointed neck there's a swivel inside of her neck i think there's some type of ball joint inside her head and then something at the base of her neck but really what's going to restrict her is this beautiful long hair and like ugh, she can't really look up very well but it's she's got the nice beautiful hair she's got butterfly joints inside with universal jointed shoulders you can see the hinge there and then there's the swivel inside there no um upper arm swivel and this is kind of a tight awkward joint to maneuver around I'm trying not to force it too much there is an elbow swivel with a proper elbow joint she has a wrist swivel with an up and down hinge on her uh, would that be her right hand probably and she has the same thing on her left arm she has a ball joint in her upper torso a ball joint in her lower torso so you are going to be able to get some pretty nice twisty turny poses going on out of her her uh, gun does want to pop out of her back bull joints in the hips is there a there is a drop down hinge up in there so that is going to be very nice for posability oh there we go very stiff upper thigh joint Can we uh try your other one there we go I love this shiny black thigh high armor boot she's got going on. Very nice double jointed knee. And she's got the um, back and forth hinge with the swivel right there. <coughs> we will go ahead and put her back on her stand. And oh yeah, she did come with this very nice black 
basic looking Cobra stand. So it's very nice that she came with that. The uh, movie ones I have are using the uh, Spider-Man display stand right now. So the movie one, she's got a noticeably longer neck. And like you can look at the head sculpts and see this one's intended to be a much more realistic character. This one's more comic booky, but still very, very pretty. And you can see the, the, the differences and similarities in her armor and her, her, her uniform. So this one's definitely intended to be a more realistic kind of outfit. Let's go ahead and pull the uh, rifle off her back for right now. So um, she's got an obvious hit swivel and hinge in her neck. And because she's got the shorter hair, she does have a lot more posability in her neck. She could probably pull a full-on exorcist if I wanted her to. She's got the butterfly joint. She's got the uh, hinge and swivel in the arm. Nothing at the shoulder. She's got an elbow swivel with a nice 90 degree elbow. She's got an up and down hinge with a swivel in the wrist. She's got a ball joint in her torso. This torso ball joint is a lot more um, easier to work than the one on the comic book version. And then there's another ball joint in the lower torso near her pelvis. The uh, belt is wiggleable and movable around and stuff. She's got ball joints with that same up and down drop down hinge going on there and those those drop down hinges can come in real handy sometimes nice thigh swivel nice thigh swivel very ooh she's actually got ooh she can give a full on ain't so the movie one wow and i think she's even has a lower shin swivel there is no shin swivel on the comic book version and she's got the ankle with the swivel and the ankle and all that stuff. Both very fun figures. Um, the one that I got that was missing parts, I got on discount back then for like $10. And then at, at Ollie's, you saw earlier, I got the classified one for 5 And at Walmart, I got the comic book one for 10 So like, I'm happy getting them for what I got them at. If you're a real G.I. Joe fan and like you had to have had your Baroness, you've already seen how cool this thing is. You probably already have one. But if you go to your Ollie's or your Walmart and you can get one of these for 10 bucks or less, especially 5 bucks for the movie one, or like they're complete. They're fun figures. Like I'm going to enjoy the idea of having, like I'm going to use these for filming at some point. And I kind of get a kick out of the idea of there being three Baroness clones running around. That's just kind of fun. Uh, overall, good figures. If you're a real G.I. Joe fan, I wouldn't hesitate to pick them up at the 20 bucks each. But if you're just looking for some attractive female figures to bulk out your uh, army of figures, then grab some up at $5, $10 a pop. You can't go wrong with, you know, sexy German assassin chick, right? I'm Colwyn. This has been G.I. Joe Cartoon Comic Book Baroness and... G.I. Joe Snake Eyes Origin, G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes Origin Baroness. Yeah, go, go pick them up. They're fun figures. Thanks for watching.